But let's talk about that story in a little more depth. Manchester United have agreed a transfer fee in the region of 28 million euros. That's a bargain, isn't it? To re-sign Cristiano Ronaldo 12 years after he left the club. Joining me now is top sports reporter Johnny Gould to discuss this. Hi, Johnny. Hi, Mark. It's always good to speak to you. How are you? Uh, really well. Excited to have you on the show. I mean, this is a massive story. Uh, it's two stories, isn't it? Ronaldo coming back to the Premier League and coming back to Man United. It's amazing. And it's happened at lightning quick speed. All the rumour was that Ronaldo was leaving Juventus, but where? The first clues were false. Paris Saint-Germain to join Lionel Messi in a Harlem Globetrotters in the Parisian <laughs> capital. No chance of that whatsoever. Then the fear that uh, sent chills down all United fans because they really feel they own Ronaldo, that he might be joining Manchester City. All this after they signed Jack Grealish for 100 million last week and tried to sign Harry Kane for 150 million this week and were rebuffed by Daniel Levy. No siree, Bob. Seven hours after telling Juventus that he was leaving Turin, the Italian capital, the twice champions of Italy, while he was there, the Coppa Italia champions once, he was heading to Manchester United. All of this, Mark, has the hallmark of Sir Alex Ferguson all the way through it. He basically spoke to dad, or at least his proxy dad, and from then on, the transfer went at massive lightning speed. Well, that's right. Uh, Ronaldo is returning to Manchester United. The deal was done quickly, Johnny, because he wants to go, because he has a big emotional attachment to Sir Alex Ferguson and the club. It's his last big hurrah as well. And, you know, you ask why is £28 million a bargain? And, of course, when those numbers are being flown around by Kylian Mbappe going to Real Madrid for £150 million, Harry Kane being rebuffed, and 150 million euro jack going to uh, City for 100 million. The simple answer to the question is he's 36 years old. This is the end of the line. And people were wondering how long he would stay uh, at Juventus. I mean, they are a great side when it comes to Italian domestic football. They're the, the only game in town. But when it comes to the Champions League, when it comes to the elite end of uh, uh, European football, the Bayern Munichs, the Paris Saint-Germains, the Cities, the Chelsea's, they are just not on the radar. And Manchester United, they've spent very big this summer to try and close that gap to Manchester City and Liverpool. They've signed Rafa Varane from Real Madrid for huge money. Jadon Sancho is back from German football, Borussia Dortmund. And now they've brought in Cristiano Ronaldo. Uh, they're going to make a decent fist of the Premier League this season. There's no question about that. Isn't it amazing? I mean, is Eight is years. he still... Look, the guy's a genius, uh, considered by many to be the greatest footballer in the world. It's a close-run thing between him and Lionel Messi. Uh, but has he still got the chops? I mean, could this be a disappointing signing? Could it be Gareth Bale going back to Spurs? Well, look, he's five times the Ballon d'Or champion. And as you mentioned, he's got a great career behind him. At 36 years old... Are his powers just as determined? I would say some of the metrics, Mark, as you hint at, are slightly lower, except for one thing. You know, he is part genius, but he's also part fitness genius. You know, the guy is one of the most disciplined and selfish, but in a, in a positive way, selfish players around. Uh, he's a team player, uh, but he's all about the self, and it motivates him. Remember, he's two and three quarter years older than Lionel Messi. Um, uh, but he has maintained that incredible level of fitness. He is naturally slim and long-limbed when you look at him. He's ideal for a yeah. long career in football. I, I, I but think you're right, right uh, mm. that he may not quite be the 100% footballer we enjoyed in his first spell at United and, of course, in his glory years at Real Madrid. Well, Peter Edwards, uh, former editor of Labour List, is on our panel today. Uh, Peter, who do you support, by the way? I support Liverpool, so I'm slightly alarmed by what's happened <laughs> today. But it is a great story, isn't it? Well, it is. I mean, do you remember Ronaldo first time round? Of course, and he was brilliant, but he was a different player then, as John indicated, that he was half the age and he was a bit thinner and a bit lighter. But if anyone thinks they have a friend or family member who's a fitness fanatic... Forget it. Cristiano Ronaldo is a real fitness fanatic. And while his powers may be on the wane slightly, it's that fitness and discipline that keeps him going, age 36. So I think Johnny's right. He may not be quite the player he was, 
but he had a very good goals record in Italy. Remember, Italian leagues are renowned for their very stingy defences. He did so well in Italy, he will score goals in Manchester and in Britain. I just hope it's not too many. Uh, I think it's a, a remarkable story. I think it's great news for United. I think it's great news for the neutral as well, Johnny, because he is the biggest football star in the world. He comes to the Premier League, so it's a great vote of confidence in that competition. It, it certainly gives United a tilt at the title, doesn't it, and possible European glory. Um, briefly, if you can, do we know what kind of money he'll be on? Because he's gone for a song, hasn't he? Uh, 28 million <laughs> euros. So his wages will be hefty. Yes, indeed. Uh, there is talk that he's on £480,000 a week, which will settle any bill in any Manchester or indeed Salford or Trafford nightclub, from what I understand. There'll be no problems there in him navigating the expensive uh, property prices that you see in South Manchester. But you're absolutely right. The lower the transfer fee, the bigger the sign-on fee and the bigger the personal wages are. Um, and as I say, they are so cocksure. This has Fergie written all the yeah. way through it. They haven't even agreed the visa or the personal terms just as yet, let alone the medical. I think they'll all, that'll be breezed through over the next few days. I'll do the medical. I've signed him off already, Johnny. He's got yeah, the game. Sure. Um, and then finally, really briefly, Johnny, but will, will that be his last... His last club, do you think? Will, will he retire at United? And uh, how long do you think the contract will be? Uh, I'm sure he. this is his last great hurrah. Uh, I'm not sure he will want to be a weaker player aged 38 or 39. He won't be short of offers. I'm sure the guy could play into his mid-40s so maybe, in um, China or the United he's States. He's 36 now, so maybe, maybe a, a two-year contract, do you think? Yes, I think the elite level. It reminds me a little bit of... Uh, of, uh, of other players who've come to United from LA Galaxy who also played towards the end of their careers. Uh, yes, I think this is the end uh, of the line for Ronaldo, but I think he'll give it his best shot over the next couple of years. Uh, fantastic news. I'm really excited to watch him next season. Uh, Johnny, brilliant work. Uh, Johnny Gould, of course, is a sports pundit, a regular here at GB News, and we'll catch up with Johnny very soon.